Hello everyone. This video is for the new hires of the student organization. We're going to cover 33 CFR Part 142 A through C. Offshore safety and health basic requirements for offshore facilities operating on the outer continental shelf. A few rules and regulations to keep you safe while you're out on the job. U.S. Coast Guard investors are to promote health and safety on offshore continental shelf. This is in reference to 33 CFR, subpart A, 142.1. 33 CFR, subpart A, 142.7. We ought to report all unsafe conditions to our officer in charge or the Marine inspector. In the case of this incident, we had this platform was fined $4.2 million for not reporting unsafe acts and unsafe conditions. Once the hazard has been reported, enforcement of the regulations should take place, keeping the reporting name confidential at all times. But anything we see out on the job, we want to report it to our supervisors at meeting and make sure prompt action has been taken to correct. 33 CFR subpart B. We're going to cover some PPE required out on the job. All persons working on out of kind of shepherd's house wear proper PPEs gloves, glasses, tear soap, boots, goggles, face shields. You want two forms of eye protection while you're using any welding, cutting, or grinding, or anything that could go into your eyes. Proper gloves. 33 CFR 142.27. Eye protection must be ANSI 87 proof and shadow proof to protect from any projectiles, thugs, chemicals that can go into your eyes. You want to wear them at all times while working out on the deck. Hard hat should be ANSI 89 proof to protect against falling objects from upper levels, electrical shocks, cords hanging, scaffolding. Our work boot should be ANSI. Z41 should check the grip at all times. Make sure they have enough slip resistance. Lace up or prefer better than lace on. Just in case you have to go in the water, you want something to keep on you easy to get off your foot. Provide adequate protection in harsh environment. Chemical spills that could go on the food, get it, mess your feet up, keep your feet dry, rainy conditions. 33 CFR. 142.36 covers protective clothing. You want to wear fire protective clothing. Should protect against heat shaving, metal shaving, sunlight, chemical splash. The best rule of thumb is to wear long sleeves, long pants, something comfortable, loose fitting so you can move and it can breathe so in case it's high conditions. Fire retardant clothing is preferred on most out of continental shelf facilities. Respirator shall be worn in work areas where fumes and gas and vapors are for persons shall be fit tested before provided a respirator. Make sure you have a cardiopulmonary test before you even find this and, and know the safety of how to store it, how to keep them clean. Make sure you're protected in areas where these vapors and gases are present. 33 CFR 42 Safety Bills and Lifelines. It covers all work working heights of 10 feet or more shall be protected from falls. Lifeline and harness it should be ANSI 810.14 approved. You want to inspect your harnesses and lane, make sure they're in good condition. Make sure they're stored properly. If you see any damage, make sure they're taken out of service. Report to your supervisors immediately. Whenever you're working at heights, you want to make sure you have a rescue plan in place. Consult with your supervisor your foreman out on the job. 33 CFR suffer for a couple of flotation devices. While you're working over water, scaffolds, or maybe climbing in the pipe racks, you want to have a Type 5 flotation device, U.S. Coast Guard approved, in case you fall in the water. It should be stored in different lockers throughout the platform, keeping a cool, dry place, keeping dry, right, and check the weapon on it, make sure it's not coming loose. And while you're working on Drilling sites and anywhere chemicals are stored, you got to do any kind of mixing of chemicals. You want to make sure there's eye wash stations are present where potential. Within 100 feet of where the hazard's at, and within 10 feet of clearing walking distance. 
to the high workstation in case something go in your eye, you want to get money. If pain or irritation persists, you want to consult with your medical person on board or get with your supervisor. 33 CFR self covers work conditions out on the platform or drill floor. Housekeeping is important. There's a lot of moving parts around. You want to make sure there's no slips and trip hazards around. Make sure there's no chemicals stored above that can fall on somebody's head, no electrical wires that can get somebody electrocuted. You want to keep all walking ways clean, store chemicals properly, clean up any spills and minutes that you see in this picture. This drilling rig floor is kept, kept up well with all the moving parts. You want to make sure people can have room to move, their feet out of harm's way, their hands, the body placement. Subpoint 33 cell point C142 is 7 cover guardrail system. Anytime you have a deck over the workers have to protect against fall. A guardrail system should be able to withstand 200 pounds of force and it should be anywhere from 39 to 43 inches high, give or take 3 inches. You want to consult with your swarmers, make sure you put these barricades up correctly. If you have to use a soft barricade in some location, the whole watch must be a present. If you have a whole watch, hard barricades is recommended. 33 CFR cover lockout tag out the way. So anytime we're doing maintenance out on the job, you're going to be doing the job, you're going to see guys, you want to lock in and store energy out. That's electrical, any kind of heat as a pipe with chemicals in it, uh, kinetic energy, things hanging, cranes could have objects hanging in the air or something that could roll. You want to chalk the wheels. You want to make sure these tags are staying 50 pounds of course and whoever stores their lock, they are the ones to take it off. If they can't take it off, you must consult with upper level supervisors or contact the person or contact somebody designated it's relief to take the lock off and make sure that everybody's notified once the equipment's getting ready to be in the drive. So you guys doing the job, I want you to go out and be safe. Thank you.